Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans, I'm Keith OneShot, and this is my dramatic reading series, and today, we will be covering The Flash, Hope for the Holidays, from DC Comics. We start this story off at Titan's Tower in Manhattan, on December 24th, where we see Wally West sitting down, while talking on the phone. We then hear Barry Allen, say to Wally on the phone, What do you think, Wally? Then Wally says, It is totally a gift you would give, Barry. I love it. Where are you? I can hear the wind. So I'm guessing you're on the move. We then go to the Central City Airport, where the Flash is battling the Rainbow Raider. Then the Flash tells Wally through a comlink, Rainbow Raider is doing his best to recreate the Grinch who stole Christmas. Then Rainbow Raider shouts, If people really wanted their loved ones to get these pretty gifts, they wouldn't have waited to the last minute to send them, Flash. So watch your step on that frozen tarmac, or my emotional spectrum blast will make you so angry You'll land on the naughty list. Then Flash says, Rainbow Raider, I've had to go mano e mano against Captain Cold, so I'm used to running on ice, and I have to say thank you. You've given me an idea, how to brighten your holiday cheer. Then the Flash starts running circles around the Rainbow Raider, as the Flash says, with something else I learned from Captain Cold. Then the Flash says to Wally through the comlink, can I call you back later, Wally? I need to let Rainbow Raider chill. Then Wally says, uh, sure. I was just wondering if you had time to. Then the Flash says, I'll see you at the next Justice League and Titans meetup. Click. Then Wally says, Yeah, see ya. We then see that with all the snow the Flash kicked up from running, he turned the Rainbow Raider into a human snowman. Then the Flash says, Don't worry, Rainbow Raider. You'll melt just in time for dessert. At Iron Heights. Then, as the cops arrive, one officer says to the Flash, Rainbow Raider saw that these planes were grounded and knew the presents inside were sitting ducks. Then the Flash says, No problem, officer. I was just passing by and wondered how a rainbow could be in the sky during a snowstorm. Then the officer says, Well, at least you gave the crowd a show. Then the Flash says, What crowd? We then see a crowd of people behind the Flash who all shout, We love you, Flash! We love you, Flash! We love you, Flash! The Flash smiles then says, I appreciate it, but, uh, I don't need the applause. Why are there so many people at the airport the night before Christmas? Then the officer tells Flash, it's because of the snow. They're all hoping for a break in the storm so they can catch their flights. Then the Flash says, but this is the worst snowstorm in Central City history. Then the officer says, I know, we're about to tell them all their flights are canceled for the night. Breaks my heart. Then a little girl walks over and says, excuse me, Mr. Flash, hi. I know you're busy fighting that rainbow guy, but I was wondering if you could help me. Then the Flash kneels down and says, Of course, what's your name? Then the little girl says, Zoe. Then the Flash says, Are your parents here, Zoe? Then the little girl says, No, they're at our house in California. I was here for a school trip, and Miss Kincaid said, Our plane couldn't take off yet because of the snow. Then Zoe holds out two gifts to the Flash and says, But can you get these presents to my parents? I bought them with my money I saved up. Every Christmas Eve, we open one present, and I wanted to make sure my mom and dad got these, even if I can't be there. Then the Flash smiles and says, You got it, Zoe. In fact, you just gave me another idea. We then go to Zoe's house, where her parents are looking at her picture. Then her mom says, Zoe. Then her dad tells her mom, That was the airline. The flight's been canceled. The snow is just too dangerous. Then her parents hug, as her mom says, But she's all alone. Then we hear a knock-knock at the door. Zoe's mom says, It must be those carolers. Then Zoe's dad says, But they already stopped by tonight. Then, as the two open the door, they are surprised to find their daughter Zoe waiting for them. As she says, Special delivery! Then Zoe's dad says to Flash, Thank you, Flash! Then, as the Flash is running people from the airport to their locations, he thinks to himself, I've gone up against monsters, and demons, and rogues, and gods from other realities. Been confronted by the end of the world, more times than I can count. And every time, no matter how bleak things were, I always found that there was hope, when I wasn't alone. After Flash has helped everyone out at the airport, the officer says to him, You're a miracle worker, Flash! Then Flash says, Thanks, officer. You should go home too. We all have places we should be. We then go to Titan's Tower, in Manhattan where we see Wally West eating some ice cream as he sings. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Then Barry walks in and says, Sorry I've been so busy, Wally. You of all people know how hard it is to slow down sometimes. Got any more of that ice cream? 
We then hear Barry narrate. After the crazy year we've all had, all the struggles we faced, I know there will always be a snowstorm or something in the way, but as long as I have my friends and loved ones, I know I will always find my way through the snow, and that's the greatest gift of all. And that ends today's story. Happy holidays, everyone! Comic published by DC Comics. All rights, story art, and characters belong to DC Comics and their respective owners. Not me. This is Ben, The Flash, Hope for the Holidays, and I'm your host, Keith OneShot. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of my Comic Complete Dramatic Reading series, and support DC Comics by picking up a copy of the Trades and Single Issue Comics. Support your local comic book shop, take care, and have a great day. Goodbye!